let me show you how to set up all your alerts for your Kickstream. We're gonna be using a free tool called Botrix, which I'll leave linked in the description down below so you can easily follow along at home. You can change the language to whatever you need in the top right corner because it likes to change it to Spanish. And you'll notice that we don't have any options to sign in with our Kick account. That's because we need to log in with one of these four options first. And then once we're logged in, we'll be connecting our Kick account after. So don't freak out. So for this instance, I'm gonna log in with the Twitch account. So I'll click log in with Twitch. While we wait for this, this is an updated version of the old video because Kick and Botrix are both in beta. So they will constantly be changing with updates. So keep an eye in the pinned comment below for any updates or changes that might happen. So I've logged in with my burner Twitch account and now we're under the profile tab. But now we need to scroll down under the profile tab and click sign in with Kick. So we'll click sign in with Kick. I made a brand new Kick account just for this tutorial so we can easily all follow along together. So we're gonna type in our username for this instance, it's gonna be cpause underscore music instead of cpause music, my actual channel, which you can feel free to ask me questions when we're live. So we'll put in our username, we'll click accept. Then it's gonna say, please give moderator role to Botrix. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the continue button. It's gonna bring us over to our moderators page, but if you're not here, that's fine. Just give me a second. But if it does bring you here, we're gonna click add new and we're gonna type in Botrix into here. You'll see a nice little verified check mark. We'll click that and click add. For whatever reason, if you can't get to this page, just go to your kick chat. So you can go to your kick creator dashboard and then just go to your chat room and you'll just type in slash mod space Botrix and you'll hit enter and you'll be able to mod the bot that way. But since it's already modded, it's not gonna let us remod it again, if that makes sense. So now that we've modded Botrix, we can go back to Botrix. It's going to automatically progress to this next page here, which says we have to link Botrix to our account now. So we're gonna go and highlight this. We can right click it and click copy. And then we're gonna click this link right here, which will bring us to Botrix's chat room because we need to put this in Botrix's chat room. But if you guys can't get to this page, the link is right here and it's just kick.com forward slash botrix slash chat room. So you can put that into your own browser if it doesn't automatically lead you here. So once we're in Botrix's chat room, we can click the send message button. And if you can't send a message because you're not logged in, so go and log into your kick account. And then we're gonna paste the message that we had copied. So I'm just gonna right click and click paste in the send message button. Then we're gonna click chat in the bottom right. And that's gonna send our message. Give it a second. It's gonna link it. it says it has successfully been linked. So we're good to go on that front. Let's go back to the Botrix page. If you're having any trouble so far with linking your account and all this, just simply hit this need help button and it'll bring you to the Botrix Discord where the mods can help you. But everything's working perfectly so far, so we're gonna click this green finish button. And now you can see that our Twitch account is linked because that's what we use to log in. And now we have our Kick account linked to Botrix. However, if we look in the top left corner, it says platform is Twitch. That means any settings that we change over here are gonna be for our Twitch account. We don't want that. So how we change that is if we go to the profile tab, and then we go to the kick portion and we click the green settings button. So now it shows that the kick settings are now selected. So if we look in the top left, platform is now kick. So if we change our kick alerts and all that, which we're going to, it'll be for kick and not Twitch or whatever platform you have selected under the profile tab. So now that our kick profile is selected and it says platform is kick, we're ready to move on to the alerts. So let's click the alerts in the top left corner. And then you can see we can change it for subscription, gift sub, followers, raid, tips, and kicks. But we're gonna focus Focus on followers because you have to be an affiliate to get subs and gifted subs, but followers you can get right off the bat. By the way, if you want more helpful kick videos like this, make sure to drop a like on the video so YouTube recommends more of me to you. Now we can move on to the actual alerts. So we're gonna start with the followers tab just because everybody can use followers right when you start streaming on kick. And so you'll see active alert right here. You can disable this alert. So if you don't want follower alerts, then you can just disable it or you can keep it enabled with this green little color. So for example, if you don't wanna get raid alerts, you can click on raid and then disable it and then you'll go down and click save settings but usually most people want alerts for everything so I'm just gonna leave everything enabled so we'll start with followers now you can customize everything that you want to including the style so how it looks the provision everything else animation you can even change how long it lasts for which I wish I could control that about other parts of my life Pretty much everything is self-explanatory, but for the picture and sound, if you click the little blue button next to them, you can choose from Botrix's gallery. So you can just go ahead and just pick one. So if we want, we can pick this nice Michael Scott one and then click select. So that'll be our GIF that plays. And then for the sound, we can click on the blue one next to sound, and then we can pick one of these sounds. If you want to preview it, you can just click on this and then click and hold, Come on, and it'll play the sound. And so whenever you pick one that you like, so let's do this one. This one sounds all right. Then we're gonna click select 
and then those will be the GIF and sound that we have. Now, if you want to upload your own, you could go to Giphy.com, which is right there. Or if you wanted to get some sounds, you go to MyInstance.com and you can go and download sounds there. And you click the little green button under the sound or the picture, and you can just upload your own sounds if you want to do it that way. But we're going to keep it easy and just stick to these blue buttons here. We're going to make sure that the volume's at 50%, just so it's loud enough to hear. And then you can adjust after that, depending on if the sound is too loud or too quiet. But this is a good beginner follower alert. So I'm just and click save settings at the bottom. It saved all of our settings. So now we're going to copy this widget URL at the top. Don't show this to anybody. Otherwise, they'll be able to use your alert box in their streams. I don't know why they'd want to It'd be kind of dumb, but just don't show it with anybody. We're just going to click the copy button next to it. It's going to copy that link. And this is going to make our alert box in our streaming software. But you only need to do one of these because one alert box is going to cover all of your different alerts. You don't have to do this multiple times. And you can use this with OBS Studio or Streamlabs or whatever you want, but we're going to be using OBS Studio. So let's open up OBS. If you're wondering where I got this cool overlay package from, I got a whole video out in the top right corner that you can watch after this video. But once you're in your software, we're going to click on the plus button under sources. We're going to click on browser source. We're going to call this kick alerts. I'm going to click OK or hit enter. Then I'm going to paste the URL that we just copied, click OK. And now you can adjust the size of the alert box if you'd like in the corners, or you can just drag and click and whatever over there. And just make sure that your alert source is above all your other sources. Otherwise, it's going to be hidden behind it and you're not going to see anything. So just make sure that your alert box is literally above everything else and you'll be good to go. So let me open up both windows just to show you how we're going to test this. So I got OBS open on the right and I got Botrix open on the left. But now we can finally click the followers button to test the alert. So I'm going to click it. Let's keep an eye right over here. It played the sound and it has the video. So we know that the test works properly. And if you're still having issues, like you can't hear the sound or just having some issues with the visuals, you can try double clicking this kick alert box source, scroll all the way down and click refresh cache of current page and then click OK. And then you can give it another press and it should work. They do have default GIFs and sounds for all the other alerts. So you can just add the alert box and be fine and just use the default ones. So if you happen to get a subscription, a rate or anything, then it will trigger that alert if you don't have anything configured, unless you go and disable it with this little active alert button under that certain category. So then when you're ready to start streaming, you'll just hit start streaming, assuming that you set up your kick account properly in the other video before this, the how to stream on kick for beginners. So right now we're streaming. Let's go over to my kick page just to make sure that everything's going to be live. Give it a couple seconds because it takes a couple seconds to boot up. If nothing's showing up for you here, you can click the refresh button. Sometimes it might take a little bit, like sometimes up to a minute. So don't freak out if you press start streaming and it doesn't actually go live right away. And also if you're hearing an echo, it's because you have your stream preview playing and it's not muted. So like if I unmute this, you're going to hear an echo. But if I keep it muted while it's live and playing, then you're obviously not going to hear an echo. Another cool trick I have for you guys is if we actually go back to Botrix, we can make sure we're under the kick platform. We'll go to chatbot. And then we're going to go to modules, make sure that chatbot is enabled by this being green in the top left. And then conveniently behind my webcam are these things called chat alerts. So we can click the little enable button and then you can click setup and then you can see it has it for followers and all of your different kick alerts here. So it'll just type in the chat whenever you get a alert of some sort. So you can just click confirm, click yes. And then it says saved settings. You can click confirm in the bottom again if you'd like just to double check. But just make sure that chat alerts are on with the little green enable button there as well as the top left where it says chatbot and it'll post a message in chat whenever you get an alert because since they're both in beta botrix will sometimes like to drop alerts whereas like it'll just skip over an alert which i'll cut it some slack because it's still in beta but if you have chat alerts enabled you'll at least be able to see if you get a follower or something if it didn't trigger the alert on screen but watch this kick playlist to the side of me it has literally everything you need to know about kick streaming my name's cody and i'll see you in the next one